Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. So today we've got a very exciting video for you. It is my what I got for my 21st birthday. First of all, I need to apologise for the lighting. Everything about this video, I don't know how to set it up. I'm not good at setting videos up and I think I'm just way too zoomed in. Definitely I'm not the best at setting videos up and having an eye for what looks good and what doesn't. But you're not here to see what I look like, you're here to see what I got for my 21st. So I was incredibly spoiled on my 21st birthday. I'm spoiled every single year, um, but this year especially, like I was just massively spoiled by every single person that is around me. I fall for it. And I'm going to do a massive thank you at the end just to like not speed things up but like I've got a lot to get through so rather than like doing all my thanks after each present I'm just gonna say the thank you to the end because there's a lot to get through and I'm so grateful and I honestly did not expect to get half as much as what I did so this video is in no way bragging or trying to like show off what I got for my birthday um I've just been like literally spammed with messages on Instagram asking me to show what I got for my birthday and I did this video last year so I'm doing it again. Um, I've tried to sort of do the room a little bit birthday-ish. Um, these balloons were actually on my ceiling in my bedroom. Um, so I thought I'm just gonna make use of them and pop them in the display. But yeah, I honestly am so grateful for every single thing that I got for my birthday and I'm just gonna start because that's what you guys are here for. And like I said, there is a lot to get through. Look at my hair, look at my face. I've literally done nothing to my appearance today, so. Brilliant, let's get started. I think I'm gonna start with what my mum and dad got me and then I'll move on to other people. So the first thing, sorry if the camera's moved, everything just collapsed and I'm getting really bloody stressed out. So the first thing that my mum and dad actually got me was the GHD Rise Heat Hot Brush. I don't actually know what it's called, the GHD Volumizing Hot Brush. Now I asked for this for Christmas um, and my mum and dad honestly just weren't me so much that they actually got it me for my birthday which I kind of like expected that I was getting it for Christmas but I didn't expect to get it for my birthday um so this was a really nice surprise I absolutely love this this is actually how I've done my hair it's been like this for a couple of days now so it might be looking a little bit like not great but I just love this so much since I've had my extensions taken out I've just wanted to like try different things with my hair and I just love like the like sort of bouncy blow dry look um and that's what I use this for so I'm really really happy with this um I absolutely Love it and it's definitely going to be like my go-to for like just a quick hairstyle. It literally took me like three minutes to do this which is super quick and it just kind of doesn't really like I've done anything to it which I kind of like. I honestly, I was so shocked at this. I never expected this because I've never spoke to my mum or dad about these before but my mum and dad actually got me airpods which I just didn't expect. I don't know, I was just so shocked like I'm so happy I've got these because I'm always trying to edit videos around the house and it's just so loud and I just can't do it and it's hard to edit videos with my headphones attached because it's obviously on a laptop. So this is going to help me out so much. They are the AirPods with the charging case. I don't really know much about like electronic items. Um, but I think they're just the like general AirPods. I honestly just didn't expect that. And like considering my mum and dad have got me so much. Like I just didn't expect this. Also can I just say. So my mum and dad actually did like a treasure hunt for me. So I had 21 presents for my 21st birthday and I had to like go around the house and try and find them all. Um, so it was so much fun to do that. And I think this was like the second or third present I found. So I was just like so shocked and I'm so just grateful for these. I can't wait to use them. The thing is I haven't really been able to use anything because I've been waiting to film this video. So now I'm filming this video, I can finally get started with using everything because I cannot wait to use these. The next couple of bits that my mum and dad got me um, is a Tangle Teaser. I've used Tangle Teasers for years now, but I really just needed a new one. Um, so I actually got the one with the handle, just so it's easy to put my hair up and stuff with it. If you don't have a Tangle Teaser, then I don't know what you're doing for life because everybody needs a Tangle Teaser. But I've got like three or four, so I can't wait to just chuck them all out and just have a brand new, fresh Tangle Teaser, which is very cute. Um, they then got me the Fenty Gloss in Glass Slipper, which I've wanted for such a long time. I was in the um, I was in Boots a couple of weeks ago, and I was debating getting this one and Sweet Mouth, and I ended up getting Sweet Mouth just because I don't know. I just I don't know, and I kind of regretted it the second I left the shop. Um, but luckily, my mum actually picked this up for me. My friend Liv actually also picked this up. Also, I'll talk about that when I get to her presents but yeah so I've actually got two of these now which is brilliant because you can never have too many and I use these literally like there's no tomorrow so thank goodness I've got two um they then got me this which I literally it's these sorts of presents that are just my favorite it's one of these I'm sure you've all seen them but I like candles in my room every single day literally every morning every night I've got candles lit in my room um so they got me this 
know if you can hear that, but it's basically like one of those things that are like an electric charging lighter pretty much, um, so I don't have to use matches anymore, I just hate using matches, they just, they're not for me, you know some people can, like I just, I can't cope with matches, they actually got me this which plugs into a USB and just charges so it's never going to run out like, as in, like I, I can keep it forever, um, and you literally just hold it against the like candle, I can't remember what it's called, like the wick, and it just lights. That's the candle, it's also used for like barbecues and stuff like that, but obviously I'm not going to do barbecues anytime soon, so perfect for my candles, I can't wait to use that. They then got me, I can't actually pick it up, but they got me the um, mom drawers, um, the same as these, um, but for the side of my bed, I really needed a bedside table and I just need storage, I get so much stuff sent to me these days, which obviously I'm so grateful for, but I just have nowhere to put any of it, so I've got some extra drawers to put by the side of my bed, and that was very, very kind of them because I actually went to Ikea just before lockdown to pick them up. Um, to purchase myself and they were actually out of stock which was such a shame um, and I just couldn't be bothered to order them and pay all of the price that they charge for delivery and stuff like that so my parents very kindly actually surprised me with those so I need to pop those up and put them by the side of my bed but yeah I'm very happy with that I think I'm gonna put my hair up because it's really bugging me just shove my hair up because it was just stressing me out way too much so the next few bits that my mum and dad actually got me are the Olaplex shampoo and conditioner I literally live for Olaplex I have so much of it um, and my sister actually picked me up the, like, number three, if you don't know what they are then. Basically, Olaplex just have different numbers, but my mum and dad got me the number four and number five, which is the shampoo and the conditioner. Um, needed some top-ups of these, so I'm so happy about that. And they also got me this candle, which is so beautiful. This is from Primark, and it smells, it's, I think it's lavender. It's called white lavender, but it just smells like nothing I've ever smelled before. It's so nice. Um, this is so cute. Like, when this candle runs out, which will probably be in about a week, because I like candles so much, I need to keep this pot, because, like, I'm obsessed with it. So, yeah, this is from Primark. Um, my mum did sell a tape it down, so they didn't smash. But it's just, like, a plain white candle. Um, but it's just so pretty. Like, look how nice that is when this one runs out and that one's replacing it. Can't wait, it's gonna look so cute. So they then got me the Isle of Paradise like tanning drops. Um, I asked for these so long ago I actually forgot, but it's just the self tanning drops face and body in dark, which is this one here, so I can't wait to try these out. I've been using Tanologist at the minute, but I really wanna try these. So I'm very lucky to have received those. And then I also got two of these packets of the clean cotton like sachets. I love these. I put these everywhere. In my car, in my wardrobe, in my room. These smell insane. They're in the packet and I can smell them. Like if you've never tried these, they're from Primark. They're £1.50 and they are just insane. Like I'm obsessed with these. I love them. And then they also got me, I actually have no idea how to say this, but it's basically the Souffle de Eclat. I don't know, I'm not even going to attempt it. The YSL face powder. I'm not sure if you've ever seen it before, but I saw Hannah Renee using this all the time, and I just didn't need it. Like, I had the Laura Mercier one, so I couldn't just, like, I couldn't justify getting it. I was just like, nah. But my mum and dad actually surprised me with that, which is very kind of them. I can't wait to use this. I also picked up this bag from River Island, which is so cute. When I, like, stay at Tom's, or when I'm, like, just nipping out somewhere, or, like, to the post office, I never have anywhere to, like put my parcels and I always end up just using like really horrible tatty old bags um so my mum actually chose this one for me from River Island which is so cute backpacks are literally ideal because you can just chuck them on just chuck all my stuff in because I only ever have tiny little bags and I just can't carry everything so this bag is just so nice and when I'm back in the office at work I always need a bag to take to work with me and this is just going to be super cute it's so nice it's just black with gold details and then like crop print you know very very pretty also got me this hairdryer um which again i'd asked for for christmas and then my mum gave it to me for my birthday because she's too kind but it's just like a babbleless ultimate professional drying hair dryer and i actually used this the other day when i washed my hair and it's insane like you know when you're using a hairdryer i didn't think there was anything wrong with my hairdryer at all i just really wanted a new one um the second i opened this i was like jesus christ my hair dryer is awful like this is so quiet it's massive like it dried my hair and my hair just looks so shiny so soft it's huge it's like a proper like salon one i think um but i'm so happy with this i absolutely love it and again i'm very spoiled because it was supposed to be for christmas but my mum just couldn't help herself my battery's flashing brilliant i'm not even halfway through i was actually supposed to be in brighton this weekend uh well for my birthday um, and we were going to have a game tonight and stuff like that, so they actually bought me loads of like old school games, but they're all in my car, so I can't actually show you those. But they just got me like three or four board games, um, just for us to play while we are over there in Brighton. And she also got me a face mask, um, and this is just a like honey super drug face mask, which will be lovely to do whilst we're in lockdown. I've tried to get everything off my floor, but the thing is they got me so much stuff and it's just all everywhere, like I just can't find anything. I'm pretty sure that was everything. If it's not, I feel really awful and... 
can't believe I've forgotten some stuff. I'm pretty sure that's everything. I say that is everything, like there's nothing. They got me so much stuff and I'm so grateful. So if I have missed anything, I can't believe it. But I'm so happy with everything they got me. It's all perfect and I've been very spoiled. So moving on, I'm just going to do Tom's because they're right here. The first thing that Tom got me is these Prada Converse style shoes. We went into Prada a couple of weeks ago before my birthday and I saw them and I just fell in love. So they're, oh my God. They are these Prada Converse. They're just plain white. Um, and then they've got the Prada logo there and then on the back they also say Prada at the bottom so last year he actually got me like a pair of Gucci style Converse and then this year he's got me the Prada ones because I just love these and I feel like I'll get so much wear out of these like I'm gonna wear them all the time um, and they are so lush I just love them and I'm so spoiled also got me these trainers from Steve Madden I'm not sure what Steve Madden is I've never actually heard of it but I found these on ASOS and I just fell in love so he got me these so long ago they're like a khaki sort of brown colour um the back looks like that and they're just like these really comfy like bouncy trainers i don't go to the gym i don't really exercise much but i feel like if i ever wanted to get into like running these are going to be perfect and they're just so comfortable like i love them and these are from asos but they are steve madden if you know what that is we already know know by now that all my videos are a total mess but this one's just going to be super messy because my camera has died i've recharged it for 10 minutes and it's going to die again in about three minutes time so anyway tom got them got me a couple of little bits so he got me the bad girl bang mascara um it's like a big one and then the small size and these are by benefit i've wanted to try these forever i actually saw these in store and decided not to buy them and the day after tom went in and picked them up for me because he's just so lush then got me this Gucci face, I don't actually know what it's called, multi-use gloss gel, gel gloss, multi-use. Saw Ellie Darby using this in one of her videos a little while ago, um, so I really just wanted to try it, um, and I mentioned it to Tom, um, not to get me, I just mentioned it in combo, and he actually picked that up for me, I just burped, sorry. Which was so kind of him, because I just wasn't expecting it, and then he also picked up the Champagne Pop by Becca which I've wanted for so long. I did get the um, tester size just because I find that the tester sizes are really big anyway and my highlighter has lasted me like three, two, three years. So I just didn't think it's necessary to spend like all that money on the big size when the little one is perfect for me. Um, so yeah, I've got Becca, Champagne Pop highlighter, the Gucci and the Bad Girl Bay. And then he also got me this maternity pillow from Ikea, which I am just obsessed with. If you haven't got one of these, you need to get one. It's so comfy. I've slept with it every single night. Like, honestly, I've got rid of all my other pillows. Well, I haven't. I've still got them on my bed, but they go on the floor when I go to bed. And this is all I have. It's just pure comfort. I think it was literally like £7. It's such a bargain. And it's life changing, I'm not even exaggerating here. Those are all the presents that Tom got me. Again, I'm so grateful, like, he did not need to do that. He scores me all year round, um, but especially on my birthday, and I just love him so much. And those Prada shoes, I just can't even cope. He's so lush. Okay, moving on. Um, so Tom's mum and dad and brother and sister actually got me a voucher for the Ivy, which was so kind of them. They really did not need to do that, and I just can't wait to take Tom there. I love it in the Ivy, and he's never been... So I'm going to go and take him um, when we can, obviously. But yeah, that was so kind of them. Thank you guys so much for that. I really, really, really appreciate it. First of all, Vic got me this little Thornton's like personalised chocolate that says Emily Page on it. I can't wait to eat that. I've eaten so much chocolate the past couple of days. So I'm saving this for when like, I really need some chocolate because I just love Thornton's so much. She then got me these Real Techniques makeup brushes, which I'm in desperate need of because you guys already know I don't clean my makeup brushes, I just buy new ones. Um, and my brushes really needed a clean, but I just really didn't want to. So I've just got this set of Real Tec Techniques brushes. Um, we've got a sponge, like a blusher brush, a face brush, and two others. Then picks me up a D&D &D gel set. So you guys know I do my own gel nails. Um, and she got me this one in Sweet Apricot. Um, I actually had this done properly in the shop with this shade and I just fell in love with it. Um, and she actually very kindly picked me up that. And she also got me this. By the way, this is from Vic and Danny and Theo. Um, this little like, it's basically, I think it's a tree decoration, but I'm just going to hang it in my room somewhere because I just love it so much. And it just says, happy 21st, Auntie Emily. And I guess it's supposed to be from Theo. Um, and it's just a picture of us three. It's not focusing which I just love so much. I wanted to put it on my keys, but she said I'll lose it, which is true, so I'm going to try and leave it in my room somewhere. Um, and she also got me a mug with my name on it, like a travel mug. Um, I actually used it this morning, it's in the dishwasher, so I can't show you guys that, unfortunately. But it's just plain white with a lid, and it just says Emily on it, which is so cute. Um, she had one quite a while ago, and I loved it. It's exactly the same, and I really, really liked it. And she listened, and she got me my own, which is so kind of her. I don't know about anyone else, but like little personal presents like that, honestly, just... 
I just love them. Like little tiny weeny personalised, like thoughtful presents mean so much to me. I just really, really like them. So yeah, thank you guys so much for those. I love them. So my sister Jess actually got me this Marc Jacobs perfume. I asked for this like so long ago. I asked for presents literally months ago that I forgot everything that I was like had asked for. So it's the Marc Daisy, no, Daisy Marc Jacobs Days Perfume and it smells insane. I love this so much. It's limited edition, so it's very fancy and I just love it. Then Kate got me Kate's my other sister and she got me the Olaplex number three like I mentioned earlier um which is the it's just an essential if you haven't tried it you need to try it if your hair is dry and damaged like mine it's a lifesaver and she also got me the OPI um gel colour in bubble bath I haven't tried this before I've seen like three or four people with nails this colour and every time I've been like oh my god I absolutely love their nails and every time I've asked them what it is it's bubble bath by OPI so very happy with that, can't wait to use it. I've not actually used an OPI colour before, I've used OPI top and bottom coats, but no OPI colour, so I'm very excited to try that. And then Kate actually also got me um, Last Christmas on Amazon Prime. If you don't know what Last Christmas is, it's a Christmas film that came out last year, and well, I watched it in cinema like four or five times, and I was just obsessed with it, but I don't have a DVD player in my room or anything like that, or anywhere to watch DVDs, so she didn't know how else to get it for me. Um, so she actually bought it on Amazon Prime for me, so that I can just watch it now wherever, whenever. She was going to get me a drive-in cinema experience, but I don't really like drive-in, um, and it was like an hour and a half away, and she knew that I just wouldn't really be comfortable driving there, so she decided to get at me to watch from home whenever I wanted, which was very kind. I absolutely loved that. So my cousin Charlotte actually got me this Rituals, like, diffuser. Um, it's, they're called Small Kindness Fragrance Sticks, but it's basically a diffuser, um, and it's in the scent... Holy Lotus and Organic White Tea, which I'm very excited to try. I love, like, diffusers and stuff like that, so can't wait to try that. And then my auntie and uncle and cousins um, actually put some money in a card, which they really did not need to do. It was very kind of them, but they did not need to do that. But they also picked up the same scent as this um, in a card perfume. I love car, like, air fresheners and car scents and stuff like that. And they chose this one, which is going to be so nice. I've never had anything from Rituals, like, and it's going to be in my car. That's so nice. Um... So yeah, I'm so excited to use those, so thank you guys so much for that, I really appreciate that. Oh, my auntie and uncle actually also got me a um, chocolate thing, so they put this thing that says Happy 21st Emily um, in a bag with loads of like chocolates, and they made this really like pretty chocolate bag thing, but that has been eaten too. My nan actually picked me up a box of Lindor chocolates, um, and these earrings which are so lovely. They are from Biagio, let me just and do them for you. They are Sif Yak Jacobs, Sif Jacobs, I'm probably saying that completely wrong, um, but they're just these little silver squared earrings, I hope you can see those, and they just match my ring, um, and they are so lovely, I love them so much. My nan always chooses such nice jewellery, she's so cute. Um, I actually need to put these in. I love silver jewellery, and I feel like these are something that I'll keep forever. You know when you just get something and you just know that you're going to have it forever? so happy with those they're so cute and my nan's just the best i love her um my nan is actually in like a social bubble with my family um because she lives by herself she threw me a little party with her and my family um oh, my tummy i got rid of my period paints on sunday which was so cute she just put her disco lights on and beyonce and stuff because that's what she just loves and we just went around for some cake and some food and she's just so lush i love her then my friends alex and eva actually really kindly bought me this vivian westwood bracelet and they gave me this just before lockdown um we went for dinner to celebrate my birthday and they're just so kind they really did not need to do that and then on my birthday they turned up at my door with a birthday cake some prosecco and more presents like they're just too kind so they got me some face masks a mini velvet teddy lipstick which i love velvet teddy alex knows that so i'm buzzing about that and a little mini hula which you can never have too many of like i was so happy that i got that because you can definitely never have too many but honestly they really did not need to get me this or that but everything all together, like, they're just too kind, and they turned up at my door, and it just made my birthday, and it was just so kind of them. I love them both so much. Olivia also turned up at my door on my birthday, and she got me some roses, which was so kind of her. This Jean, I think you say Jean-Paul Gucotier, I don't actually know how you say it, um, perfume. Um, and she also got me the Glass Slipper Fenty Gloss, which... I'm so happy about because I just love it. It's my absolute favourite. Um, and she also got me these like Maltesers. You know Maltesers from the celebrations? Yeah, she got me those. But I ate them all on my birthday. So, but yeah, it's just the like little meaningful things. And she actually sent me a card as well from Moonpig, a massive card with loads of pictures of us on it. And it was just so cute. Um, but yeah, I really appreciate that, and I loved seeing them on my birthday. Even though we couldn't celebrate properly, it was nice to see them. Actually, um, 
Julie from my work and her daughter Brittany who I'm friends with actually sent me a moon pick card as well and some Prosecco which was very kind of them. Um, but yeah if there's anything I've missed I'm so sorry but you should see my room right now it's completely covered in presents like I'm so grateful and I've been so spoiled for my 21st I just I honestly I can't even believe that guys I'm so happy with everything I just can't wait to just sit down and just sort through them all and look at them all properly um so yeah if any if you did get me a present I just want to say thank you so 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 much and anyone that wished me a happy birthday honestly it means so much I'm pretty sure I managed to get back to everyone um it took me a long time because you guys are just the best and I had so many messages but I'm pretty sure I managed to reply to every single person um and I just want to say a massive thank you as well to my family and Tom for making my birthday so special they literally just made such an effort. My house was just plastered in decorations. I had balloons on my ceiling, balloons everywhere. These are all balloons from the day. Um, they actually put a sign of me on the roundabout in my town centre, which was just hilarious. Like, it was just so funny. Um, but they just made such a massive effort, and it really, really was so kind of them. And I actually had the best birthday, even though it was in lockdown. I honestly think this was my favourite birthday. It's such a like, memorable one, and we just chilled out all day, played games, ate Chinese, and it was just an ideal birthday. I'm 21. But for another year, that is why what I got for my birthday video done. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it and enjoyed seeing what I got for my birthday and stuff like that. Um, again, this isn't to brag, this isn't to show off. I'm just honestly always so curious to see what people got for their birthday. And I think it's just a good way to get ideas as well, especially with Christmas around the corner. But yeah, I love you guys so much. Thank you for the best birthday ever. Another year, another year older. I'm still here, I'm still alive, my whole family is happy, healthy and well, that's all I can ask for. 21st year is going to be my year, I just, I just know it, it's going to be it, I can just, I can feel it in my bones, as long as Covid doesn't F things up again, I honestly think this is going to be my year, so, can't wait for you guys to join me on this 21st year of my life, and fingers crossed, we have a good one so yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you very soon for another video ciao